welcome back to Let's Play A Boy and His Blob. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'd like to start off this episode with a shout out to Roshan, who left a comment saying, I can't help but feel, but Billy is going to end up working for the British Museum with all of this random treasure he's collecting. <laughs> Very uh, aptly put, and I like that a lot. Um, I'd also like to give a shout out to Miracle Tiger who had a very, very good point. I just go back up here. There we go. Couldn't find the right direction it wanted me to lean the stick in. Okay, yeah. So, uh, here's Miracle Tiger's comment. I know that the map for the caves is supposed to be underground, so that's fine. But when you look at it, and you compare it to the opening screen of the mines, where you are in a house straight in the middle of a bustling city with a metro tunnel, it doesn't look like a city at all around the... around the, uh, the caves. It's just a natural area. I feel like someone on the art team wasn't told about the fact that there should be a giant city out of the holes in the wall, instead of random bits of nature. Just this once, it's fine. But, uh, we're being silly right now, so, uh... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start off by heading back to the Citadel and freeing that last blob who is still imprisoned, because that's not cool. I seem to recall that it was in level six. One, two, three, four, five. So this one over here. Yes. I'm gonna be straight with you guys. I'm just gonna skip straight there so that this is as untedious for you guys as possible. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna follow one of those walkthroughs that tells you how to get everything along the way. So, uh, jump cut. For the record, apparently this is how you're meant to do this part. Huh. Okay. really kicking myself, because I was, of course, right here before I went over there into the room. Shout out to... Who was it? It was Miracle Tiger, who, you know, commented in addition to some other stuff. Also, I choked on my drink when you left that timestamp without rescuing the blob up top, and let me tell you, I did not feel great getting there in the editing. Oh boy. But yes, we are here in, uh, proper area. So, uh... Let's set right what once went wrong. Get our Scott Bacula on. Hey. Sorry, buddy. I did not mean to leave you in here this long. Be free! Oh. I forgot they could see me through those. Achievement unlocked Savior of Bobalonia, Citadel 6. Let me guess. Rescue all of the captured blobs of level Citadel 6. Hell yeah. Alright. And here's the end of that level. Just thought I'd skip ahead just that last little bit. Yeah. It feels good to have freed all of uh, Blobbert's countrymen. Planetmen? Not really a word. Alright. That felt good. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. Did we finished these, or are we moving on to the other one? Thankfully, they color code the uh, little bubbles, so I'll be able to tell. We did good. 
Ah, good. I wasn't done here yet. Okay, let's get on with it. Right back to the challenge levels. Oh my. I have a sneaking suspicion I have the jack in this level. Oh, look, I have three jelly beans. That's a uh, gluttonous feast in these challenge levels. Huh. Interesting. Oh, yes, yeah, since I didn't actually say the words. It's the, uh, the Berry Balloon, the Bananville, and the Applejack. What is an Applejack, anyway? I know there's a cereal by that name. And I believe there's a My Little Pony by that name. But I don't actually know what the phrase means. Oh, I see! Wow, that is weird. This way. Wop! Foul, we can reset. I really like that it centers itself. I guess they probably don't have any back muscles to be rolling it over, but you know. Oh, my back is killing me today! <laughs> go. Oh, hey, it just got better. Oh, wow, that's... that's very clever. Ah, because I don't have a parachute or anything. All right. Wish me luck. Oh, God! Nice! First try! I guess it was just a simple timing thing. But then again, I was always shite at those uh, blocks in Mega Man that would appear and disappear in a pattern. Well, now it's glowing! Huh. Why do we have this? Mind you, I'm no more, uh, no, uh, more of an expert on, you know, what ten-year-old boys consider cool these days than, uh, Blobbert is. I mean, take the Shantae doll there, for example. That's a kid. Do you have any idea how mercilessly a guy would be mocked even for owning a uh, like a female action figure? Man, please. The some things have changed, by the way. <laughs> We've got the berry balloon and the banana anvil. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that I need to. Oh my! Yeah, push it all the way over. And somehow do it without dying! Joy! Oh, I say somehow, I just realized he does come close enough for me to just do this. 
You're dead! Oh, he's actually not coming back. Mom. Also, what the hell are these in the background? That's not what a stalagmite looks like, or a stalactite. Actually, this one's connected to the floor and the ceiling. What the fuck? This one here. Oh, I see. Those are just roots in front of it. I thought those were the same item, and that this uh, stone sculpture had, like, well, the venom symbiote dripping off of it, to use a reference that someone made earlier. He seemed to be the most swole ten-year-old when he gets there. I think he's like six or something, they said. One more. Today, Robert. Oh, right, yeah. Fuck, I didn't think that one through. Should have jumped. I should have been onto those, those little tiny hops as I was to jump it. Oh, I guess it doesn't. I guess it's barely a difference if you're not moving, but, uh. Oh, yeah, blow that guy up. Hey, Blobbert! Who wants to blow some dudes up? Emperor's dead, and they're still evil. Maybe the Emperor had a whole bunch of innocent blobs dosed with some kind of mind control potion, and that's what changed their coloration. Right, yeah, fucking A. The, uh, it, was the, it was the Ninja Turtles trick. You just needed to run across, not jump. Boy, that's a fucking dated reference calling. Well, I mean, I am calling out an NES game, yes, but it's in a game that was based on an NES game, so I'm going to allow it. Yeah, this really infamous bit from, uh... I don't think it had a subtitle, just the Ninja Turtles game on the NES. Where, uh, just a little tiny gap at the top of the screen, and you need to climb back up and try again and again and again. It turns out the trick was just walk across, don't jump. The trouble being that at no point had they previously suggested anything like that was, uh... Well, even a thing you could do. Oh! Okay. Not how that works. This way. Oh. Huh. Oh, I see. Oh, that's good. Hurry. Okay. I just needed to see exactly where the door was. I just did that because I was feeling especially proud of myself. Ooh, good timing, me. Motherfucker. This isn't gonna work. He, I'm still at the same distance. Oh! I didn't know he had an... Well, I didn't think that through, did I? <laughs> Sorry about that, Blobbert. Fuck. Just slightly that way? Yes, good. Are you fucking kidding me, bird? Oh. Oh, I am so sorry for what I am about to do. Rest in peace. Mom. 
Oh, and he's fucking, he's fucking back. The bomb is back. I guess it's like how Voltorb from Pokemon can use a move called self-destruct and visibly explode and then be fine after somehow visiting a Pokemon Center? Leaving you behind. Yeah. Maybe we get some context in the glowy orb. Oh no, it's the severed eyeball of a cyclops. Well, technically, since he hasn't grown up yet, that would make Billy no man. What the hell? It's a golden ring, and it's glowing. Oh, right, the sparkles are because it's new, but still! Oh! Oh! Oh, it's blackout mode! <laughs> this is adorable. I like this. Mom said, find the flashlight. <laughs> oh, of course, that symbol is a firefly. Oh, this isn't creepy at all. Going downstairs, it might. Honestly, that's a very small T Rex if it's a T Rex. Wait, 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 wait. Is it doing that because I have that on? Is it going to make the whole game like that? Or is that just a funny coincidence? Because, uh... Adding extra levels of challenge isn't what I had in mind. To the land of the dodo. Oh my god, it does mean that! Okay. I'm gonna do- this is probably a dumb idea, but I am gonna do at least one level like that. What the hell? I really hope this isn't a bad call, because there are a number of levels where it's like, well now I can't actually see what I'm meant to be interacting with because it's over there and I need to use the cannon. And this is still very silly, let's be clear about that. Alright, we've got the blue berry balloon and the punch hole. And no treasure to worry about. He's literally negative space right now, and yet he's still glowing. Sorry! Hmm. Now how do I get this down there without killing myself? Eh, they're probably far enough. Hello, Midnight. The cat's here, everyone. I am kind of in the middle of something, but okay! <laughs> oh no, don't stand there. That would be really dumb. perfectly honest with you guys. I uh, just took a couple minutes there to pet the cat. <laughs> because I can. Just waiting to see if they come back, because that's never a good time. Man, this lighting, it looks like the stone is covered in snow. No! I never learned that lesson.
Oh, I see. I can't drop it on that guy because he's right below me. And I do have to hit that guy. I guess we just keep going down, huh? Just checking. Oh no, that's where that... I didn't think of why that block might be there. And yeah, that guy... Well, that doesn't make any sense. I would have no way of getting back up. Straight to the top. Feck. I wish I was better at jumping over the rocks than at stepping on them and cracking them. Somewhat stressful in puzzles like this one. I do really appreciate that it is actually kind of easy to line them up once you uh, get them going in the same direction as you, because everything moves at the same speed you do when you're pushing the thing. Okay, now how in the fuck am I meant to do this? If I drop down, I can make the guy charge, but he will definitely kill me. Oh, man. I don't like this idea. I hope I'm wrong. Smash the dude. Should probably wait for that jelly bean to fade away. Do they push the rocks? They push anvils. Um, all right, fine. 
I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play a Boy and His Blob when we, uh... Well, get our way to the bottom of this level. Literally. And, uh... Well, then keep being awesome, I suppose. What is with these vines? Looks like it's really windy in here. So that doesn't make a lick of sense. Ah, well. Later!